Hi. 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 I. Hi. Hi. No, I. I'm doing the intro. Yeah, I start out the intro. No, okay. I just then, thought I could just jump in there. I didn't know. What no, kind of no, thing. we're doing like the rhythmic I just don't thing. Know why we're it's doing. A big deal. We've been doing this every. Okay, all right. We've no, been a hundred episodes. No, go ahead. On it's there. fine. Okay. All right, let's just start over. All right, ready. All right, one, start over. One, on two, three. No, I got this. Just okay, all you have to do down. is just not Jesus talk. Jesus Christ, we're just having a good right. time. Hi. All right, on the count of three. One, spaghetti, three. No, you don't do the spaghetti thing. That what doesn't make any sense. About? It makes perfect sense. How does that? How does that make sense? I like spaghetti. I like the number three. I don't know why it doesn't. All right, so one what? No, you're not in charge here. I'm in charge. Okay, it's called the John Field Show. All right, hi. When you brought me on here, you told me it was called the Powerhouse Devour Hour. No, I did not say such a thing. You told me it was John. I, I, what? That sounds like a made-up name. You called me Shake Shack Caddywhack. That's what you said it was called. You just said. You're not. All right, hi. I'm John Field. And my name is Daniel J. John. And we're no. You go. That's not your name. What? That's not Daniel J. John. I'm sorry. Where is it actually? Do you want to be credited the, the right way for the I show? I would like to be credited Daniel J. John. I think it would be a great name to be called. No, my name's not Daniel J. John. It's You're, not. Your name's not Daniel J. John. Your my name's name is, not even Daniel. My name is Daniel J. Para John. No, it's Daniel J. Parafan. Parafan. So what we're going to do is... So your name is Daniel J. Parafan. We're going to do, do we're gonna do the introduction that okay. we're supposed to do. That we're we've been doing that. for about 300 episodes now. Okay. We've been doing this forever. Is this our first episode? Well, we've been doing it like on stage it for a very long like, time. Well, it would have actually. Yeah. So my name is John Field. This is Daniel J. Parafan. And we're going to give you the No, news. we have to do... It's the old vaudeville pattern of like, I'm da-da-da. Okay. And you're da-da-da. And right. we're da-da-da. All right, all right. All right Ready? So, one. No, I, I'm going to lead because you're going to mess this up I'm somehow. I'm not going to mess it up. You mess it up every single time. I just feel time. like it's always a race issue with you. How come you always bring up race? I didn't bring up race at all. Oh, so you don't even mention it at all. So I guess you don't see color here. I, I, I didn't bring up the fact that you're a white Hispanic. That's kind of offensive to me. Well, yeah, because you're a white Hispanic. Oh, of course I am. Yeah. So. Are we going to start this thing or not? What? Are My we name start is Daniel J. Parafan, Hispanic, and this is racist John Field. We're here to give you the news. Hi, I'm John Field. And my name is Daniel J. Parafan. And we're two goofy two, guys. Two goofy guys. We have to do it at the same time. We don't have to. Yeah, we do. No, we don't. Because it adds. It's that's what that's what the producer said okay. to us. It, it just it's what like they, the guy had a bunch of charts. And it said, just seems it just seems like you're throwing your name in first. What I want to do because is, it's my show. I, I got the contract. It is I brought your show. you onto the show. I understand. I'm not trying to be combative here or kind of pushy. What I want to do well, is that's give what you a new spin, dynamic. What? Spin the paradigm on its head. Now, just throw, follow me on this. You're if throwing me a lot of jargon right now. Now, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh, yeah. Now, if I, if when we start off, right, can we say, "Hi, I'm Daniel J. Parafan, and this is my show." Now, we can just switch that around. I feel like it's much more inclusive than minorities. What do you think? What? If you're against it, you're against minorities. Now, I don't mean to think that you're a Hitler Youth Group or anything, but I just feel like you have that kind of love for whites. What? What, what if I don't want to include minorities? It just feels wow. Wow. What? You don't want... I did just... I could have... I can I include you in my time. episode. No, I understand. I just... You know what? You know what? No, 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 no. Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain it. I got, I, got, I, got, I got nothing against Hispanics. Uh-huh. They, they, they can sit with me. Okay. But they can't be above me. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. I'm going to not necessarily cry about this interaction. I'm going to be crying Yeah, you can't cry because you got a lot of that machismo built up in you. I can't It actually. makes it really hard. One Hi, I'm John Field. What? Huh? What'd you say? One time I ate a whole chicken. It was alive and I ate it with my teeth. You're just making. Hi, my name is I'm John, John Field. Field. No, that's not. Uh, I, hi. Hi. My name. My name is is John. You're just mocking me now. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. I feel like I this used is. To. So my name is John Field, and, and I'm, I'm a Daniel white J. little crybaby white boy. You don't have to bring race into this. I don't. I didn't bring race into this. I didn't bring up race once. Now you're My bringing race into this. My name is John Field, and I love racism. Uh, racism. I'll eat it up. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Racism. That was a little over the top. That was kind of hammy. Over the top? What are you talking about, John? My name is John Field, and this is Daniel J. Parafan. 
There's a guy over there. What? What are you talking about? There's like a guy. No, there's not. There's like a guy right there. What guy? Why is he sitting there? I don't know. What's he doing? A letter to the senator of Arizona from a Native American man. Dear Senator, you know, illegal immigration isn't a new problem. My great-grandfather used to call it white people. <laughs> See, your ancestors justified a genocide by putting a pretty name on it like Manifest Destiny. Manifest destiny, huh? Well, how about my foot manifests itself so far up your ass, Lewis and Clark have to map out your large intestine to understand the Louisiana of my leg your rectum has just purchased, and no, putting Sacagawea on all of your gold coins does not justify killing her whole family afterwards, because things aren't all golden here on the reservation, see? Every time that I see white people getting car deals for Columbus Day, I die a little bit inside. And every Thanksgiving, I can't make eye contact with a school textbook because the only thing they gave us that day was smallpox. And that doesn't sound like something I should be thankful for. It is often said that a black man in America is trying to buy back his 40 acres. Well, me and all my peoples, we're trying to buy back all the acres. We were the first slaves, the first people to have their civil rights denied, and the first victims of segregation. See, crow is a word the white man stole from our tongue, but he changed it forever when he put a gym in front of it. I'm almost certain that the reason my people have so many casinos is that one day we're convinced that the white man will walk in and wager a state or two in our favor, or lose all of where the Great Plains used to be in the hand of blackjack. Can't you see that every time you roll a snake eyes on a die, it leaves a faint imprint of a trail of tears? So yeah, okay, keep naming your football teams the Washington Redskins, and your baseball teams the Cleveland Indians, and I'll keep hoping that one day, your blonde-haired, blue-eyed trophy wife leaves you for a man named Juan Gonzalez, and you can label me a terrible person for saying that, but just remember, we tried to label you friends, but you just labeled us savages and banished us to a reservation. So motherfuck all that bullshit, Senator. I have not forgotten that you are no more American than the man you pay $3 an hour to mow your lawn. As a matter of fact, hand over your green card and get the fuck off of my land. What was that? I know. Why, why was that guy up there? That, that was, was like, talking about something. He was just talking about Native American stuff. That's stupid. This is our show. This is the show that we worked hard for months on end to make into a, such an incredible show. And, you know, we I don't know how I feel about this. I'm really dead set against anyone invading my show, anybody co-hosting with me. What uh, was that last thing? It just... I, I didn't know what you said, that last thing. It just seems like that lot, it just didn't belong. Anyone in the, invading our show. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, yeah. well, let's go down the list. A anyone invading the show. What yes. was the second thing? Anyone co-hosting my show. Okay, it just feels like because I'm co-hosting, you're attacking me directly. I'm not saying all co-hosts. I'm just saying some co-hosts. Oh, some co-hosts. Yes. So hashtag not all co-hosts. Could you say that again? Hashtag not all co-hosts. Because you kind of like slurring those words I didn't a little slur bit. Oh, wow. So you enjoy slurring. No, I don't enjoy slurring. I bet you do. I don't enjoy when my co-hosts slur because it's a sign that maybe they're drinking again. And maybe the fact that their mouths smell like rot gut risky. I just – I was using Listerine and a little bit fell in my mouth. And then I thought I might as well, well have all a the, shot of whiskey. I mean if you're using Listerine. What? What? <laughs> you said you had a shot of whiskey. Well, so, so what the thing is when you drink Listerine, it's like having a shot. So I thought why not have five? 
So you're drunk right now. A little. And you're mad Only at the legally. fact that I wouldn't want a co-host on my show, possibly ruining it. We haven't even done the introduction yet. We haven't. We haven't even done the introduction. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm pretty drunk right now. No, but we can still do the introduction. We have to do the No show Technically we in do. the history of the universe has ever... Hold on one second. I'm getting breaking news to my... Okay, uh-huh. As it turns out... You have nothing in your ear. The president has just declared today, uh, John's a bitch day. That, that, there's nothing in your ear. What? There's nothing in my your earpiece. ear. You don't have an earpiece. My television producer. Look at that. Look at that. Ah, nothing. that's my headphone. That's, that's not your headphone. That's, that's your ear. That's my ear. That's your cute little ear. It's pretty warm. No, yeah, it's warm, but the, the news never happened. You're just trying to make fun of me. No, I'm John not. Field. Hi, I'm John Field, and... I'm Daniel J. Parafan. And we're two... The guys. We're two, two guys. funny... Hi, I'm John. And I'm Daniel J. Parafan. This has to have a certain rhythm to it. Which one? The, like, uh, our patter. Hold on one second. Uh-huh. There's no earphone. My producer is speaking to me in my ear. That's not how producers communicate. They use paper. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they hand paper. Oh, my God. Breaking news, everyone. Today is 9-11. I'm crazy. That's just over the line. It's not 9-11. That's not over the line. It's September. You're close. This is over the line. More news. What did you expect? <laughs> I, just, I thought someone would bring me news. No. Oh, crazy. Oh, well. Hey, you know, actually, I have news. What's uh, that? Uh, I need a piece of paper. Emily, Emily, can you bring me a piece of paper? Oh, you don't have to hide. That's Emily, everybody. She's Emily. a very sweet lady. Give it up for her. Clap at home. All right, this just in. Daniel J. Parafan. Uh-huh. No matter what he does, uh -huh. will always be my friend. Did you see that, John? No. That's so sweet. I don't let you see no, it. No, I want to hold it forever. No. Don't break that. It's breaking news. Can it's, I see it's, it? it's exclusively for the head anchor. Oh, jeez, John. Do you mind if I just look at that real quick? No. Let me just see it. No. Don't be weird. No. Don't. No. 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 Don't put that what? in your mouth. No. I. No. No. John. 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 John, 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 Jesus, John, you're such a fuck, weirdo, oh my god. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> you can't do that. Oh, why not? That, that one has poison. Oh, Jesus Christ. What I was just saying that. I, I don't know what poison. I'm sorry. I was just concerned for your health because you're my best friend. Oh, thank you so much. Anyways, hi. I'm John. My name is Daniel J. Barack Obama. No, and, it's uh, not Daniel J. Barack Obama. Oh, so it can't be. Yeah, no, it can't be. Can I see your driver's license? It's not even Daniel. I don't have my birth certificate with me right I'm now. I'm not asking for your birth certificate. Oh. It's not about that issue. Oh, wow. It just seems like it is, John. You're questioning my motives. I think you're deflecting right now. I bet if my name was Daniel J. Whiteman, you wouldn't have an issue with it. And that's the news. No, that's not the news. What? There's not. There's just a guy over there. Again, hey. another guy. What, what are you guys doing here? Why are you here? Get out of our show. Get out of our guy. You're ruining it. Oh. Illegal cable boxes are the only things blacker than my skin nowadays. Meals seasoned with struggle, my heavy-handed mother always knew enough regret to taste it in the sandwiches she locked in our lunchboxes. The walks down the block, only things darker than the days in our house. Blackouts were a phobia. Sign that mama's bank account resembled my stomach tonight, reaching within itself every overdraft fee, a gargle and a gurgle. Money was an ulcer in my mother's pockets. Her kids categorized under bills. Every Sunday, all the church could collect from us was our hunger. I remember trading book bags for garbage bags and textbooks for food items from the pantry, the house of the Lord. Give us this day, we may not have daily bread. Every food stamp worn proudly on my forehead like my poor was some kind of shame or something. Look at the starving in my pupils. Tell me if the teachers taught them how to fill my stomach with air and stop complaining. Tell me if this is the day my little brother is no longer an ejaculated burden with a crack smile. Tell me if this is when the crack miles aren't the only things eating my generations to fed wallets. If this is the day image of Brooklyn is no longer bridge or net, but mother like Atlas house on back, tell me if this is the day we wage war on minimum wage world and break the safe holding the rest of our paychecks hostage. So we can afford to pay for the way we need to write our way out of the deep end of the debt we tend to swim in. Why does my skin look like debt? And why does every job acquired look like the road to payback? I guess it must hurt. When you wish broken spirits could get you enough disability checks to pay rent. 
I want to empty the lint out my pocket sometimes and sew change together, but change sweaters don't keep you warm enough when your heat cuts off. Why is our biggest check never from reality, but to realty salesmen? Or those devils we like to call uncle, twisting our arms until we call uncle, babbling Bible verses like a bibliography for Babylon. I fear no evil, but can't stop living backwards. And the blackbirds that circle our deathbed, the poor pick to put the people in, look just like my illegal cable boxes, blacking in my skin nowadays. And we're too diabetic to digest sweet struggle, too asthmatic to the addiction of just getting by. But Talib never had to ad-lib the sounds of the mad kids in the Kings County Hospital who would beg for better mothers instead of better health care. And I guess we don't care that they turned our projects into art projects. Hey, maybe if we paint it pink, houses will look more classy. But if you ask me, trashy, you're always a classy when you're married to your poverty. Hell, we don't even check our accounts anymore. So how do we know what we're accountable for? Can't afford to live right. Can't afford to die right, just get by life, so we wait for them to cut the feed to our life support. Just like the cable to my illegal cable box. I, that, what was that? That's the second time this happened. This I is, know. You know, I'm starting to think we're on top of an ancient slam poetry burial ground. That would explain actually why so many slam poets are constantly like coming in and taking. I over. don't think that's that. I'm pretty sure that's the reason. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't. I'm not happy about it. Mm -hmm. I'm very disappointed. Okay. In this studio. Good. And security. Uh huh. And 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 you know we try to make a show for the community. We did. By the community. Uh huh. With the community. Okay. Inside of the community. Uh huh. And then just these spoken word poets just we keep getting in our way. So what you're saying is we're like little termites inside the house of the community. We burrow inside, eat away at the innards, and just destroy it from the inside out. I like that a lot, John. We take away from the community. That's not what our only, job is. Not only do we take away, we kind of actually tear it apart, really, because the community was fine on its own, and then we came in there, white as we are, and just burned it with our acid faces. And go, it, it, you know, I, I know how we're going to get ahead of this. What's that? We're, we're going to go, all right, me and you. Okay. We're going to get up. Uh -huh. You know, those guys, every time they've they've done, every time they've done their little spoken word gibberish stuff, uh -huh, they, they uh -huh. are always standing over there, okay. right, where the stage is. Yeah, yeah. So if we get up yeah. and go over to the stage, okay. then they can't, I they can't, follow. we can go just beat them, just, just follow me. Watch All right. This. We can just go beat them up when we do uh, it. And it. then we can finally do our, our uh, you know, so we can just, like, we got our things here. Oh, my and God. we're like, it's like, like New Year's. Like, All right. With, um, what's his name? What, what, I, what I think we should do is kind of let people know who we are. Well, hi. I'm, what? what's going on here? What are they? Oh, Jesus. What are they doing? Oh God, they're gonna do more poetry. Are they gonna oh, do one more? Oh shit! You don't know the type of warrior you're dealing with here. See, I've been dueling ever since I was an amateur. With kids who love to say hello with their fists. Raising Charmanders, Squirtles, and Bulbasaurs because I couldn't raise my arms in defense. And I mean, I've made it past the Elite for like, what, 76 times? But, but I couldn't, couldn't seem to make it past lunch in school. school. This, this is a childhood survival guide, guide for the, the kids, kids who need to escape, escape into the world of anime. anime. See... Oh, God. Oh, boy. What, you you know how to make enemies yeah. tremble through mere yeah. intimidation with Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon? Dragon. See, you, you can't fuck with, with 4,500 attack and 3,800 defense points. And, oh, I always knew how to make more than one of me in a room full of bullies like Shadow Clone Jutsu. But even with nine bodies backing me, I still never knew how to withstand getting my health points drained by my, my opponent's, opponent's verbal attacks. So, I learned to live in galaxies I created through sheer mental power while my opponents stayed confined to the chains of this, this galaxy. galaxy. My people are a special breed. We can't all be Mujin a Jin. True. Just can't cut our way through lives without getting cut back. But you know, I want to I want to have like Yusuke's power in my fingertips and like hold a spirit gun to anyone who's trying to victimize me. Sadly, our, our superpowers, superpowers are preyed upon as targets, targets of people who don't understand. So this is for the kids who beat Pokemon Ruby and Silver and Diamond, but still didn't know what to do when a wild bully appeared. Bully used pussy. That's not very effective. Bully used faggot. Uh, still wasn't very effective. Bully used 
weird, awkward, nervous geek. And it's starting to drain HP. This is for the kids who watch Street Fighter just to learn combos to combat badasses. For anyone who has ever run home crying because the alchemy that you learned couldn't withstand the wrath of a classroom. And you should know that one of the three tenets of the Assassin's Creed is to never harm those that don't know any better because Karma, Karma is, is a final, final flash you just aren't ready, ready to block. block. So, when they call you ugly, just remind them that Feebas, mm. one of the ugliest Pokemon in the game, <sighs> evolves into a Melotic, considered to be many, many, probably the most beautiful creature in the world, right? Right, yeah, right, yeah. right, right. And, and when they call you weak, remember that Magikarp, the weakest and most pathetic Pokemon, evolves into a... Gyarados, known to be the strongest and most feared monster in the world, see? If, if you, you be patient, patient the, the rewards, rewards will come. come. And you can go Super Saiyan too. If you dig through your soul deep enough, you can multiply your power times, times 10, times 20, times 50, nah, son, over 9,000. We all have warrior inside of us. You should know how to unleash him better than anyone. Never, Never let, let anyone... anyone Take that away from you. Uh, well, you kids are. Wow, I was. Uh, very talented. Very special. And you ruined our show. It was a good show before you got here. Yeah. What, what's your names? Well, I'm Darren Arthur. Thanks. Holden Dante Contreras. Oh, wow. Okay. Thank you. Well, you know, uh, thank you for what you make. Yeah. And. Maybe you can find a better outlet next time. Yeah. Instead of ruining a good show. I mean, yeah. we like it here. Yeah. 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 Do you have anyone you want to say hi to while you're um, on our desk? Hi, Ma. Yeah, Mom, uh, if you see me, I'm sorry. This is how I turned out. Yeah. Right. Well, that's, that's the end of our show. Well, we could do the introduction before oh, we Oh, we could finally get oh, to all it. All right, we finally. Well, you, all right. Hi, I'm John. And my name is Daniel. And we, we are, are the two guys. guys. That love to have uh, fun and words. Cut. No, we didn't finish it. We didn't, we didn't finish get to it. it all. We didn't finish our. What's intro. the? Okay, so hold on. The thing is, David, we, what's we've going been, on? I've been training. You can't. It's not really. All right, this is not David. It's Sorry. kind of an awkward. I told you we. All right. Lights on. We could get pizza. We could just turn the lights off. Uh, we could well, get pizza. You guys want to get pizza? You guys want pizza? pizza? Uh, yeah. We also Applebee's. You guys want to eat Applebee's, Applebee's after this? Yeah. I can't pay you for drinks. I don't have enough like, money to pay we, for like, drinks. You want to buy these kids you liquor. I have to. He's not that hard to find. Do you need a hint? Carl likes to steal papers. You think you see him? There he is. There's Carl. Now pull the trigger. Pull the trigger. Go ahead. This is what we trained you for. You found Carl. Now pull the trigger. Let me just try to find like a... In my head. I, um... I always stink. At least I feel like I stink. A lot of my life at, at making friends and having just a core amount of people in my life who I care about. I think I'm really good at it. Now, uh, I used to be very bad at it. Like, it just especially in high school. I didn't, it's, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world, but I, I just couldn't figure out how to make friends in high school. And I think... One of my problems in my life is is I, I tend to zone out into computers or television or the internet, and a, as a way to sort of uh, get a fill of a social life, I would just talk on a message board all the time, and that that's it was I spent a good 
I had like one core message board that was themed around comic books and, and nerdy stuff. And I spent about 10 years of my life just talking on that message board. And I just sit for hours just, just sharing with this core of about a couple of dozen friends. And it, it was an interesting experience. And it was also an interesting like learning opportunity because like I was connected to these people who were coming from all over the country and a lot of different walks of life and a lot of different age groups, like a 40 year old bar manager in Louisville, I was having regular contact with. And in this group of people, there's this one guy called Matt Polanski. And he was just, just this, he was like, like a bit of a slob and he was 30 and he was aimless. And he was, uh, he had, he was a blood tech and he had a lot higher ambitions of being a blood tech. And he was like, I'm going to become a rock star and and he was not going to become a rock star but he still bought himself a guitar and he tried to teach himself music and he wrote for himself this song called emo girl which which was just bad i mean this is early 2000s and emo had a lot of cultural relevance back then and we all made fun of him for that because we were as a message board we were you know that's how the internet is it's really vicious and it's fun and easy to be mean to each other and cut to me, I was 15 years old and I always want, I like the fantasy too of being a part of a rock band and I didn't have any musical talent or any real drive to learn the music, but I like the idea of making a song. So I wrote one song in my entire life and it's about Mac P and it was in response to that and it's called uh, The Ballad of Matt P. And I'm going to play it for you now. You don't know shit about music! You don't know shit about love! You don't know shit about movies! You don't know shit about love! Matt P, no matter what they say, wearing a leather jacket won't get you laid. You're gonna die lonely! You're gonna die lonely! You're gonna die lonely! I love you! Y como no puedo 